start wrapping him up with my broke. Okay. Uh, he's there's no way for you to do that um, in his current state because he's not grappled anymore. So you can't just tie him up. You would have to incapacitate him first. Fine. I get my blackjack out. Okay. So Manuel Madrid oh, sorry. Uh, yes. has said crack, yes. which I want everyone to put their own emphasis on. So Diana, do you think that that's like, uh, like, oh poor Crag, he's getting attacked by Quigley? Or What's that? up, Jose? Um, I think it's Crag defend himself. Yes. Right. Quigley, how do you feel this is? <laughs> Crag got punched in the face by Squire Quigley. Yeah, that's, I think that's good enough. That's yeah, it? That's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Alex, you get blackjack. your blackjack. Yes. You go up behind Quigley. Yep. Are you going to flank with Crag? Uh, sure, yes. Okay, so you can now, if you sneak. hit him, you deal in sneak attack damage to add plus two, because oh, you're flanking. Okay, and yeah. if you hit, it's sneak attack damage. Okay, so plus two to my attack roll. Attack roll. <laughs> roll to 15 plus my seven. Okay, that's yes. that's good. You hit so me. now it's 3d6 non-lethal damage. I am so sorry. Ouch. I don't think she's sorry. Don't be sorry. Six plus one, seven plus four. Plus your strength Eleven. bonus. Oh shoot. Plus strength bonus is yeah. 14. So 14, 14 so she, you get you get walloped hard in the back oh. of the head. So yes, so 13 points Okay, she said 14, so I was just going off that. But yeah, if it's 13, I, I trust that. Uh, you get walloped in the back of the head. It's at, like you, you now see that they, they are all against you. The good news is he doesn't have anything around him that could heal him. So well, that's 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 also that's great news. Um, does anybody, you guys, Marcus and Lyra, are watching Adam? this that turn was turn back? Uh, do you you do you intend to get in on the action? Not at the moment, because I'm Well, not hold on, to... Gregory already beat me to it anyways. <laughs> Gregory just says, don't worry guys, if you enter quickly too much, you can just hear him from, from drinking the water. Wait. <laughs> um, so Lyra's gonna do nothing. Marcus, you see the, the, your, your underlings are getting out of hand. <laughs> you no, just watch no. and wait. Okay, so you guys stand back and, and wait to see how things shake, uh, uh, shake well, out. I'm trying to Craig, figure out what we're gonna do. you're first in the round. You see that Alex is just like she's taking. And she blackjacked him on the head. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's still up, but you can tell he's like reeling from the blow. What do you do? <sighs> Non-lethal damage is not gonna like I could, I could bop him like I bopped our buddy with a hammer. You can deal non-lethal damage. There's a there's a penalty to your attack roll and your damage. Yeah. But you because That's it's a you're do. trying not to kill him with a giant freaking hammer, yeah. so it's harder to do. But you can do that. You can elect to do that, or you can punch him just like he punched you, not with your gauntlet. Not with the gauntlet. But not with the not with the boar tusk. In but the you're, you have another hand. You could just <laughs> you punch him in the face. Did that to me once. Yeah, I know I did that to you. Okay. I couldn't kill him. No. No. Well, I mean, I wasn't trying to kill you either. could. <laughs> uh, Jacob says, "Crag, you're the leader." Crag. Thank you, Jacob. He's not the leader. Jacob, um, you're obviously mistaken. I'm gonna bop him. I'm gonna try to bop him. I'm gonna with place, your, bop it with my hammer. With your hammer? Okay, so it's minus four to attack and damage Hold while you're trying to yeah. deal non-lethal damage with it, but go ahead. Okay. Bop it. So I'm gonna bop it, rolling for non-lethal damage. Oh. Nope. I got two. Okay, so you're trying to gauge, like you're trying not to kill him and it's and throwing it you off. Um, you're, you're just used to going full force, but now you're being attacked from both sides. Does he have I a open sword? my mouth. No, I have a sword. You have a sword. Oh, that's why. Hammer. That's why this only, that's why I couldn't hit him. Yeah. Cause I'm holding his sword and I'm like, uh, yeah, it's it's all it's weird. It's just uh, weird. Oh, I open my mouth and drink water falling from the head. You had to back out of the fountain because Craig. Remember, I, you were on run it. Run to the fountain okay. to drink if water. If you guys want, you can take his attacks of opportunity against Heck him yeah. as he moves. Okay. Yes, I am. So each of you make an attack. Oh no. So can I? I uh, why can I say Lyra catch and throw the, throw the sword so I get a better? Not right now. Oh come on. Oh. You can just drop the sword. 16 plus my 7. Okay, that's enough. You smack him in the back of the head. Oh no. Roll your damage. No, oh, no. That's, is that sneak attack or no? Oh, yeah, it's no. still sneak attack. Yeah. Make it to the water. Got it. Sneak attack. It's 3d6s, yes? 3d6. 2 plus 3 is 5. five. <laughs> 4. 4. 9, nine plus, plus 2 is 11. Oh my gosh. Alright, Craig. It's not lethal. Did you get him? I didn't roll. Okay. I'm rolling now. So I rolled an eight 
plus, you said minus four. You're minus four, yeah. Yeah, eight plus four. Eight, eight plus four. Okay, so you get out of the way. They, Alex smacks you, Craig almost tries to you, but you duck out of the way. You scramble to the fountain, you cup some into you, drinking it. You are full, you are, all of your, the, the pain in your head <laughs> reduces to nothing. You stand back up, invigorated and ready I to defend this, this fountain with your life if necessary. You still have no weapon, but you have your shield. I still have my Alex. Axe. No, he has, his, he has his axe. Oh, and your axe, yeah. Yes, sir, the read. Team Alex. Hashtag Team Craig. Stephen Fisher, hashtag Quigley Punching Bag. Quigley has scrambled over to the fountain. He takes a drink. Can I sneak behind him and bop him again with my blackjack? Uh, the the issue is you won't get sneak attack damage. You can you I can hit him with your blackjack, but you you don't have anybody to flank with because he moved away from Craig. Yeah, just let him go for a while. So you can attack him. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying you won't get sneak attack damage this round. I'm wasting time. Yeah. I'm just going to try. Unless there is some other option you have anywhere. for stopping him. I'm just gonna, I'm, for now, for my round, I'm just gonna watch him do this and just, just kind Okay, of so you hold ahead. back. You yeah. hold back. I'm gonna Antonio, hold back. Uh, uh, Pepo Antonio Vera says, I can see tension in the party. No, no, this, oh, is, no, this, this is, is, is a Friday. Are you kidding this is normal. Where? This is cordial. This is, this is probably <laughs> the, the <laughs> best we've we been. Last version of I'm this. I'm feeling real good. Yeah. It's the top of another round. Marcus and Lyra still watching this play out. I think out. That we're gonna get nowhere. Well, obviously. Well, do you intend to make any type of action no. that could end this? Okay, well, so. Well, I don't have anything. You can, you can also, in fact, monks, uh, you can, if you can make an attempt to, when you deal non-lethal damage, you can elect to do that. There's no penalty to it. Okay. Or you could try to tackle him, or you could try to. That was my Why next, was, that, that was, was my was, next It's move. not working with them. You're in tackle. No, no, that was my next so, Okay, move. giving up forever is also an option. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> 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 no, that's going in the box, <laughs> for sure. Uh, Alyssa Bell has mentioned what Craig and Alex's next plan is, which they're going to stop pulling punches. <laughs> It'll just be, well, we have to kill him. There's no other way. Charles Pryor said, just let Quigley put water in the box and push him in and seal the box. <laughs> I wonder if you can drown in this forever. water. Is it possible? He'll drown. You can um, drown. Marcus, are you also are not doing me. anything? I assume this is, I mean, this is still highly amusing to you, this so. This is hilarious. Sure, yeah. Can okay, you? then we will go on. Crag, you're top of the round. What do you do? You I see Quigley has you, drank more water. I don't think like you drown from this water because every time you'd be drowning, you'd be I, I drinking don't know. the water and it would be you. Can I yell to him, did you prepare sleep? What? <laughs> that's your six seconds. That was my idea. Well, that, that's your free action was that's to yell. So you still have more actions. What do you do? You go to tackle him? Okay, so now it's a CM, CMB. That was your idea from the beginning. And now you bring it up? God, that makes me mad. It's okay, Alex. You're doing a great job. No, no, you're we fine. We all love you. I love you, so go ahead. I'm still mad. You were, so the, the, you were the, hey, you were just the most effective person in trying to get it's him knocked out. Thing. He was doing nothing. So it's it's just, yeah, you're just, it's just like when you tried to grab him at the fountain. All right, big roll, big roll. Oh, 17 plus seven. Yeah, okay, yeah, so you just it. rush and grab him and you both go boom down into the water. <gasps> down in the water? water? Don't well, he's know. at the fountain, and Don't. you tackle him. Close your mouth! <laughs> Close your mouth! Close your mouth! Close your mouth! Close your mouth! in his eyes! <laughs> no! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I saw that in the water? Yeah, you guys are there. I mean, it's not like deep. You're not submerged in it. Quickly, right. actually. Don't is. drink I it! I struggled free! Okay, try to struggle oh, free. Yeah, yeah. Are you trying to put the water in Craig's cup? <laughs> I rolled up two! You are. Craig has you tight. He, you now, as you're, uh, you can tell that he means that he's gonna drown you. This is it. He's gonna drown you and take the fountain. Can I? At this that point, was my move. <laughs> at this point, can I shackle him or something? Or we? We're well, now in? you're. Hold on, Alex. You've seen what's happened. I grab my rope out and I try. I'm gonna start. Okay, tying well, the problem him is Craig is now on top of Quigley. Damn it! Are you going to tie us together? <laughs> Craig's on top. Of, I can't move. Craig. He's bigger than me. Um. Fine. I'm just gonna start yanking quickly by the legs to get him out of the water. Okay. To, to uh, what does this look like to me? <laughs> um, well, you you're having a hard time seeing anything because you're trying to keep your face above the water so you don't drown. Uh, and but and they're both you, trying to murder you, you, me. There's somebody the pulling on you and Crags holding you and it's, it's I, terrible. Precious. You can tell that this they've they've turned against you. You thought they were agents of good, but it turns out they're evil. They must be possessed things. by demons. You must That's vanquish them from the land trip. if only they would let you go. Ah! Craig, what do you do? You, Quigley is, oh is going mad in your struggle. Like, he's struggling. He's I, frothing I at the mouth. I want to do what I brought up 
Okay. To our leader. I yeah. brought it up. I brought it up. Shackling him? Sleeping. That was That's longer than six seconds. I want to attack. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Shock it. Can shackle. I shackle him? Does it roll? Do you to shackle have, him? Well, if you if you let go of him to get your shackles, he would have a better chance. So of he's on the ground free. right now. Yeah. Can you're I, you're basically I'm holding gonna... him down, so if you go to get your shackles, he might have a better chance of getting free. I'm going to punch him right in the face. Okay, punch him right in his <laughs> face. Down, I, get, I'm going to no, good. He's just, to get he's just gonna open right his now. mouth. <laughs> okay, punch him. You can do it. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just, this is... That's what you do. You said you did it. Adam Khan says, go team dragons and stuff! I don't know that team. I don't know that team is appropriate. right now, but I agree. Nothing happened because I rolled a seven plus seven. Okay, so he no, hauls wait. back and tries to, to yeah. smash down on you, but you jerk your head to the side. Uh, he punches the water. Your precious water. He punched it. He punched my water. It's your turn. I finally understand, Lady Lyra. Does he have any open wounds on his hands? Stop telling him these things. It's into Jim. <laughs> I struggle to get free. Okay, struggle to get free. Fifteen plus my six gives me a twenty-one. Are you kidding me? Okay, you wriggle out of his grasp. You wriggle out of Craig's grasp. You're, you're now on all four. You, you and Craig are down in the water. You're on your knees. What do you do? You get out of his grasp. His, his, you... I try to stand up. Okay, you stand up. That's all you can do for the round. Alex, you see that Quigley has managed to, to, to get free of Craig. He stands up. He's got his axe in his hand. He's like huffing and puffing. He's ready. He's like looking oh, about no, wildly. Jim, Jim, I feel great. Oh, you feel, no, you feel good, but it, it's rage. Oh, it's, yes. it's the, remember the rage that Craig, Craig has been yes. letting you practice? Yeah, you're letting it fuel you so that you can end their evil lives. Stop telling him these things. It's my turn. Stop. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm grabbing my rope out and I'm going to try and wrap him up. Okay. I'm done. Can I? How are you going to tie him up? He's free again. So he's standing there. If you, if you go up to him, he he's going to hit you with his axe. Throwing I'm going to sneak behind him. Okay. Can't I? But he sees you. Can you can't I? just disappear and out of nowhere. Don't you have like a sleep dart you could throw? I don't know. I don't know anymore what to do. Is he just standing there? He's just pissed off? You, well, you it's just, been six uh, seconds. I, I, I feel like you're really upset. You're so upset that you're forgetting a whole bunch of things that you just bought. I take out a vanish potion and okay. I drink it. Okay, you vanish from sight. Now do I have another That's move? a good use of a vanish potion. You have another move. It's okay, I have another You one. can reposition yourself if you would like. I'm gonna reposition myself to start to tie him up eventually. Okay, with the rope. so you get behind Quigley. Where'd she go? Alex vanishes from sight. So with vanishing, so all of her items vanish too. Yeah. No. Like pulls out a rope, her rope's invisible. Yeah. It's somehow magical. Well, otherwise if she it would step be really in weird. the water, you would see the water step. Well, there's a chance that he would Stop hear her. Right. Yeah. Yes, I make a perception you check. You do, yes. Make a perception check. Stop ruining it, Marcus. Okay. 19! You I hear know. you hear splash in the water behind you, you turn around, you don't see anything, but you did see Alex just disappear from sight, so you know she's right in front of you. Ah! <laughs> oh I only now. I only had one vanish potion. Oh, oh, is it my God. turn? Craig, it is your turn. <laughs> okay, so I take the sword. He's turned his back on me. I take the sword and I throw it back by them across the floor. Got it. Okay. I take my hammer and I'm going to. Are you going to stand up? Am, did I fall down? Well, you were, because oh, yeah. again, you guys had been rolling around in the water. Man, if I stand up, I can't do anything. Well, no, I'm just saying it? that he's going to get an attack of opportunity against you because you're standing Dude, his up. His back is turned to me. It's not the way it works because he's aware that you're there. So can he I can... swing at him from the ground? You can, there's a penalty to out. it. There's a penalty to it, yes. Great, what's the penalty? Minus four. Minus four, doing it. Okay, so, um, are, you, are you also trying to do non-lethal damage? Screw that. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so we've gone, I, I figured we'd get to that point. Uh, swing away. <laughs> I, uh, I, yell to, I yell to Craig, I say, as long as Quigley doesn't start splashing, you should be fine. Is he in the water? He's not yeah, in the water. Yeah, you guys are both now in the water. You guys are standing in this fountain. How big is fighting. this fountain? It's enough for you guys to be, I you guys <laughs> yeah, fell into it. You're, all, you're in that area. That, this is, yes. It's a friend's fountain. Yeah, so I probably, I'm pretty sure I hit him. Okay, well. Because it was uh, 14 plus eight, so Minus 22. four, which would be 18. My um, armor class is 17. Okay, well, I'll deal your damage. No, there's no minus four because he's hitting you for lethal damage. But uh, no, I was on. I was laying because down. because he's oh, uh, laying because down he's laying down and doing it. Yeah. Went for his legs. Nice. Yeah. Big time. 
Is there any penalty to my damage? No, because you're you're just trying to kill him now. Gregory <laughs> Winter. No, I was just gonna say. Gregory yeah. Winter says, "Someone tell Alex to double check her inventory." I we did. Know how it worked out the last no, time no. she had another no, one. No, no, I did, so and I used up my only advantage I potion. I have a new plus, plan after this. Seven Don't worry. Seven plus six, thirteen. I do. Okay, Believe thirteen me. points of damage. You feel like a pain, like Crag smashes his hammer into oh. your thigh. This is now do or die, quickly. I drink more water and I attack the absence in front of me. You're gonna, okay, uh, make an attack roll. Can I say something to I Marcus? I feel great, correct? Oh yes, you oh, feel instantly again. healed. Can I say something to Marcus when they're fighting? When we get to the, the next round, you oh. can, if you want to jump in. 19 plus five. That's 19? a crit chance. That's a crit chance. <laughs> no, uh, uh, not on my throwing axe, I thought I didn't have Oh, that's a, true, the throwing axe doesn't have a range. You're right, it's just 20. So, okay, but it's it's 19 on the die. Now your you have to roll percentiles no, because Quigley because she's invisible. She has concealment against you, so there's a chance that no matter there's a 50 percent chance that you will miss. Do you want high or low? Oh, you know I like. You the love high, numbers. so if you roll above 50 percent, you hit her. If below 50 percent, is a miss. Oh, I missed her. 44%. Okay, so you you see his blade is coming right for your skull, but you shift ever so slightly, and and he misses you because he can't see you. So it's it's much more difficult. Um, so you miss quickly, but you're feeling you the pain in your leg instantly is gone. Uh, Alex, it is your turn. I take out my tangle foot and I throw it at him. Okay, make a touch attack and you get a plus. There you get a plus four for being invisible. You um, can't see you. Touch attack is where is that on? It's just the versus his touch AC. It, it's just that's all. Just make your attack, Alex. Sure. Yeah, just roll your day. Roll your thing. Fifteen. I have twelve on my touch. Okay. The, there is an explosion of a uh, sticky mass of, of goo envelops you, tangling up your arms. Uh, uh, you, you find it difficult to move as this stuff wraps itself around you. Uh, Alex appears before you laughing maniacally, her eyes glowing red with <laughs> demonic light <laughs> as, she, as her teeth elongate uh, into no, fangs. You are Stop that! Oh, no! Uh, Stop! That. It is the bo top of the next round. Lyra, you said you wanted to get in on this at all? Or you see that uh, Quigley so is having a hard time? He's, he's now I enveloped in this sticky him, mass of, of so just, like, webbing and goo. Okay. I, I say well, while she's saying her thing, I say, Quigley, don't splash them in the mouth. <laughs> is a demon telling me that? Or is Lord Marcus telling me you that? You don't know what to make of them other than they have not come to your aid. Okay. So clearly they're lost. Whether they're under the thrall of these demons or whether they've simply... Uh, decided to, you're not sure, but you know that they can't be trusted. Oh, no one can be trusted anymore! <laughs> no. I think we should take the vase that has all of that liquid in it and pour it into the fountain. I don't know why someone can't cast sleep. Maybe it will wreck whatever is going. It's about six seconds. So what, are you doing anything, Alec, or Lyra? Um, I'm gonna go get the vase. Okay. What vase? The, the it's a one? woman pouring. In, that's the fountain, the, the statue is the she woman wants to go get the green water. Oh, the, the green water. water. Oh, you want the basin? That's a big stone, like, oh, heavy I thing. Can't, can't Close carry it. The door. No, that, would, that wouldn't uh, work. Fine, forget it. I'm just going to watch this go down because it's not going okay, well. Okay, so you I decide to do nothing. Uh, Craig, you see that this made the Quigley is getting, he's having a difficult time moving. Uh, he's entangled in Alex's whatever it is. <laughs> What well, do you do? First, can you put him to sleep already? Thank you. Please. Do you want That's me to use a spell? That's, That's a, a third, second time. That's the third or fourth time I've asked him already. Well, I just said, do you and want me to use the spell? It's the only one I have prepared. Guys? And I'm, I'm gonna... I break free and charge! What? Hold no. on. It's still his turn. It's been six seconds for so, sure. So, <laughs> I can't shackle him because he's free. Like, I can't shackle him. I'm still laying down, right? You can get it, but he can't make an attack of opportunity because he's all entangled up. Can I lunge for yeah. him from Yeah, in fact, the... now it would be easier because he's... So he's... I get, do I get no penalty if I'm on the ground and I go up to... I want to grab him and get him out of okay. the... Okay, yeah, it's it's much easier to do because he's all wrapped up. Okay, yeah. I'm rolling. Roll. I'm rolling. But okay. now I'm you're rolling. going to be sticky too. Whatever, I'll be sticky too. We'll be stuck together. 20. You just grab him. He is. You have him in a big bear hug. You yank him out of the out of the water. He's still struggling and screaming and kicking. And I just and I'm, oh, tie him up, shackle him, something. Alex, or Quigley, <laughs> Quigley, it's your turn. I try to break free. Okay, there's a lot of penalties because you're being held. I need to break free. And you're entangled, so it's a total of minus eight. 
I'm going to break free, though. That would be sad if you did. Nat 20! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 10. All right. All right, so you try mightily, but you can't break free. Alex. Ropes out. Okay. Now that he's yes. dealt with. What can I roll for that? Uh, you, you guys, at this point, okay, he's, he's at a point where he's not Finally. going to get free. All right. He's you can scream the attack. Yeah, oh, yeah, of course. Demons! You're yes. all foul oh, oh, demons! I walk over and I take the box off his back. Okay. Slide the box out of the bag. I open okay. up the box and I say, "Here, Craig. More demons." <laughs> He's clearly, they, clearly, Marcus has joined their ranks. Is he tied up? Is yes. He tied up? Yes, I tied up. Demons! I don't think so. Think someone them. gag him. Tie. <laughs> someone, someone gag him. Can don't, I make another struggle don't for don't freedom? Don't tie his don't legs. No, they tied him. me up. I'm just tying all over his body so oh, he can't move like this. We're gonna tie him into like a. Yes. His full body. They're just cocooning yes. him. He's oh, a mummy of rope right. now. This is your last okay. chance. Give yes. me the sword or you will be a demon as well. Demons! I think that you so should not all, throw him in. So he's all tied he's up? tied up. You got him. <laughs> okay. Well. See? No yeah. magic necessary to stop him. I know you can do it. Put him to sleep. Why? Demon. Let me just, I don't want to demon. throw him down demon. there. Don't though. throw him. No, demon. that's what I'm saying. Put him to sleep and we'll demon, drag his demon, body demon, down demon. there. But he's tied up. I can, I'll carry him down. Demon, demon, okay. demon, demon. All right, let's go. All right. The box. Okay, you carry him down into the box. Are you putting him in the box? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Demons! Okay. So, yeah. There's a, there's a big pile of rations down there. And I, would, uh, I, lay him, I lay him on the big pile of rations. Okay. All right. Someday so, I will be out Alex of this box and I will be back. And I will ruin you for destroying my fountain. Okay. And I'm climbing up and I'm yeah. okay. tearing his Oh, yeah. He, he's off. just nonstop. Nonstop. So close you get the to the, you get up out of the box. You guys are all standing there, minus Quigley. This Quigley, you're down there trying to struggle, but but they, uh, eventually this, the the stuff that that has wrapped you begins to dry and flake away. Um, you tell now it's me just when the rope. I'm free. <laughs> 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 but uh, but you guys are now standing oh around this fountain, I, the box. I motion Craig to the box and say, you should shut that and put the lock on it. Yeah. Why should I do that? Because he's gonna get out of the rope eventually. And then go for it. Go ahead and close it and lock it. Yeah, I close it and lock it. Okay, close it and lock there it. There we go. Okay. Well, that went well. Swimming. That was fun. It went swimming. If you would have put him to sleep in the first place. Well, then I would have wasted a spell. You guys could handle it. All right. Here's the thing. We need to get out of. What should we do? Should one we him and I'm, gonna have, him? I'm gonna have some of that water now. No! No! <laughs> no! no. <laughs> no you're feeling not. a little tired. Quickly, it did seem really energized. Yeah, by you know, it's been. No. No effing All way. All right, so should we break the. What should we do about the fountain? Do we leave it and move on, or do we break it and then move on? Can we break it? Should we break it? Well, guys. Why would you break it? Can What's the, because what's let's the say he statue? Gets what's the statue? Oh, he's just going to want to kill Stone. us. Um, yes. You could topple it. Like if that was like when she's saying like could we break it? It's possible. It's difficult. Like it would be hard. It's it's. I'm yelling from the boss. Do Don't you touch my fountain! And that's just echoing in yeah, because nobody can hear you. But but I but yes, you are doing it loudly, ferociously. Why don't, why don't we just in a righteous fury? Give, give me more keep strength, going. you know. I just... uh, roll a d20 for me. Twelve. Okay. You begin to struggle against the ropes, trying to find some way to get out of them. Um. It, it would be possible to destroy the fountain if that was your plan. Okay. You right, guys think this out. is going to wear off? I think, if I think it eventually will. I think yeah, there's, two, to there's two options. Out. Yes or no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that, very insightful. Thank Marcus you. knows what he's talking about. I think that's that, that's that uh, brains break, of the party. Do we break the phone? Uh, that will just send him more into but, rage or, if he's still like Or that. if we break it, does it break the spell? Knowledge arcane. Yeah, sure, make a knowledge arcane check. I'm gonna guess no. Uh, six plus 11 is 17. 17? Um, you would guess that it's likely that eventually, as long as Quigley doesn't drink any more of the water, it this would wear off. I have more. Um, it is possible, because you do detect, you did detect some magic from the fountain itself. It's possible that destroying the source of that, if you destroyed the fountain, it would also break the effect. But wow. it's also possible that the, mag the magic, the magic, 
if it was related to the water, that would maybe work. But if that magic was some kind of protective force, then it would either be impossible to break because it's magically reinforced, or it would be bad. So there's three options there. It Great. either is impossible to break because of the magic, breaking it would be explosive, or breaking it would, in fact, end the effect. So that's a magical fountain. And um, Lyra has an option. The other option is Death. really bad and everybody would probably die. So let's not do that. Uh, Except for me, I'm in the box. Yeah, it's so, true, you'd be safe. But the demons would be dead. Just, what, do you, what should we do, leave it alone? Well, I mean, I you probably should have knocked him out. Because, I mean, you're not wrong about the sleep thing. It's just like, maybe that's a spell that we could use and I you guys could just do- I knocking him out. Well, he's tied up now, go knock him out. Then he can sleep it off. Is this stuff gonna wear off? He has yes more. Yes or no. Remember, he put I stuff think, in I his... Think it do, probably... I, wait, do we know that? Do we know he has more? I yes. think it will yeah. probably... So let's go off. down the stairs and get it! Then. Go down the stairs and get it! Do, you had three I think on it'll the probably and I'm, wear off. And I'm dumping out... I'm like disgusted and I take my bottle out and I'm like just dumping okay. this crap yeah. out. One of us needs to go down and get the rest of his water. How about I, I trade it out? Great. No, first he needs to be sleeping. But once he sleeps, I'll trade it out with my water. He's not and sleeping. Just, he's not going to sleep I at all. I will go down. I, okay, well, I mean, put like, the combination in the lock, and I unlock the lock. I, I really wish I did broken free right there. Yeah, I know. Lucas Martinez has mentioned that his one true pairing is the magic box and Quigley. No, the fountain, oh, the fountain and the fountain. magic box. Oh, the fountain. I'm sorry. Well, and Quigley. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at it. So. Yeah, you are. And of course, I yeah, am the Bill I, Gates of magic, says Damon. He don't need no stinking degree. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I come down, he's going crazy. Oh yeah, Demon! especially when he sees yeah. you Demon! see the, you see the largest of the demons, the one so, that was supposed to be your your greatest ally is approaching you, certainly to crush you. Josh Schubert I, says, just remember, if Quigley gets loose, he's going back to the fountain. So can I, Stop can I knock that, him out? Josh. Don't remind me. I can him. knock him out. Does I have to roll for it, or no, just... I mean, does it do point, damage to me, or does huh? it? Huh? I mean, because you're pretty much helpless. If you drink like, from the fountain later, you'll be healed, so that's okay. Stop But are you, are you trying stuff. to knock him out and not, not kill him, I assume? Yeah. Be okay. a leader. Yeah, yeah it's, it's... So we can knock him out. Yeah, he's you can out. knock him out. He's out. He's out. He's out. Okay. So then I... Wait, I he's knocked out? mummify him to get to his stuff, right? <laughs> yeah. So, I've done, so I'm untying him. Yeah. Don't you dare have him wake up. So I untie him, I get to his water skin. <laughs> And I dump, I dump it. Okay. Okay. Right. And then I take my He's shackles. He's gonna lick the floor. Okay, I take I'm not, my not shackles there. I'm not there. And behind his back, a leg okay. to an arm. All right. Then, <laughs> to an arm. Yeah. But then which I just, arm to which leg? Your, uh. your right leg to your left arm. Oh, good. Right leg, right. I'm left foot dominant and right and then, arm and dominant. Taking, Twister no, and shackle. Then and then I'm tying. <laughs> no, then I'm tying his other arm to his other leg. Okay. Pretzeling him up behind himself. Okay. Kind of yeah. like hog tying him. What? Yeah. This is <laughs> no. Brian Somerset, stand back. Craig is dumping again. I can, not going to do that. Oh, that's correct. The I'm question is who let Sir Craig in the box? I thought it was Craig let himself the in the box. Out, that's where he yeah. was going with that. And then just to be safe, I'll like mummify all of that too. Okay. So crazy hog You're tying. You're fairly certain. I'm feeling sick. That there out. is no way Quigley is getting out of this. No. Except. <laughs> Except what? And then I go, and so I go, I go back up the ladder. <sighs> so I go back up the ladder. Okay. And, and all right, he's shackled, tied, hog tied, upwards, backwards, for he's. Okay. All right, well, do you want to do I the rest do of this without him, or do you want to, what, are we going to wait it out here? Well, those are the two options. Could, could, uh, go forward or wait it out. If we wait it out, he's gonna wake up and want to drink the water. Again. Well, here's the here's the thought process, right? So, if we wait it out and he's still crazy, then he's probably crazy forever, and then we have a, a more a bigger issue. Or we wait it out and he's better, and we continue with him through the rest of the temple. So vote. Mm. Craig, so vote is yeah, where. Yeah. yeah. We just don't know how long we're gonna wait it out, though. Yeah, what are we gonna do? One hour, check in, two hours, check in. We could do that. We At can play charades. Oh. Anybody know any good games? I have a jump rope. Mm. You're not there. So. <laughs> All I right. I think we should wait it out. We need everybody. We don't no, know I what agree. this is gonna bring. If but that we turned us against each other. Can we 
get away from the fountain. Yes, no, yes. I agree with that too. So let's no, go why down. Don't we just go back to the back to the beginning, back where we camped. No. No, no. No, because that means we have to come back to the fountain. And yeah. So let's continue forward and stay in the next room. Okay. No, Marcus doesn't like that idea. I would not suggest that as you a leader. Okay. Oh, Charles Pryor says boldly wait it out. Yeah, in the fountain wanna... room though? Yeah, I don't Let's know. go in the fountain. And play and frolic. Is it hot? Is the water hot? No, and it's no, cool. It's it's like a perfect. Don't drink it. Why don't we just go back to where we camped? Because, because someone doesn't want to walk all, all the way up the stairs again. Over again. The stairs? The epic mighty hero of destiny doesn't want to walk downstairs? Upstairs. 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 Yes. Whatever. Why are we here? Let's wait. Because you sure. took us here. Yeah, you're right. You. I really like this. This is your place. fault. What do you mean you like this place? Well, I don't like I don't Where like the shall we wait this out? Can we fast forward, Jim? We're going to the cabbage line. We're waiting it out. We're fast forwarding. Okay. Whoa. How long do you intend to wait? Hour at hour. least right now. Okay. I think so, right? An hour? Marcus is willing yeah, to wait yeah. a day. An hour. No! Let's All just right. see if he's okay by an hour. Look at those evil eyes. Great. What are you going to say? Yeah, Jim, just tell us how we screwed <laughs> just up. Just tell us. Just tell us. Just whatever your well, way is. Hour, so What's your gonna, mercy? So I am patiently waiting, tapping he, feet. He an hour passes. Tank, correct? An hour, an hour passes. passes. An hour. An hour he passes. still has I, the tankard, correct? Yes. The from, ram cap? From yeah. the fountain? Yeah. I'm just... No. I'm just looking at my spell book and I just say, you can go look at them, it's not gonna be enough time. Yes, Jim. All right, yes, Jim, an hour has passed. Why are you looking at me? It's your game now. An hour has passed. No, no, because Yeah, we're... I said that, an hour has passed. Well, I just said who's gonna. Oh. oh. I said uh, Sorry, I missed that, passed. okay. Who wants to go check up Why on him? Why don't you just open it and see if we can still hear him? You can't hear him from the interdimensional space. Craig, you're learning magic again. All right, so well then do you want to go in? Oh, Craig knows all about magic. Do you want to go down and it. see if he's okay? Or do you want one of us to go down? Why are you guys both? We want to see if he's down. normal again. Just go down there. I'm free. Alex, go down there. I'm the leader. You go down. I'm going down again. This is the okay, worst. Okay, you go down. You open up the box. I hate this you box. go down. So Quigley is lying motionless. Oh, no. It doesn't appear to be out. He shifts ever so slightly and look at you as you get to the bottom of the ladder. He's still tied up, He's still shackled, He's just looking at you. So how you feeling, Squiggly? The demon speaks. <laughs> you're very confused right now, Squiggly. You're not quite it's certain why you're in the box. Demons don't generally speak. You're not certain why you're in the box. You're not certain why you're tied up. You, you I'm feel... I'm not certain why Sir Craig is in the box either. I believe I banished him from the box. You, that's true. Um, you also feel a great sense of uneasiness. It, as if you're, as it, when he takes a step towards you, you almost, if you could, like, almost like shrink back. Like, you feel a, a sense of, of threat, but... But there's really nothing you can do about it. And then there's a small voice in the back of your head that, that is, is like frantically trying to tell you that it's okay. And then it's almost like when you wake up from a deep, from a nightmare and, and things are like, you're still, there's that sense of terror, but you're, you're slowly realizing that you're just in your room. It's just dark. That's just a coat rack and not a shadowy, terrible monster. I give the crack a smile. Okay. <laughs> While he's tied, he's lying on his stomach, tied up, crazy way, and so you're probably... How did I get here? You're probably wondering why you're tied up. Yes, I would like to move my arms and legs. Because you went crazy. Because... You went crazy over the water. You remember the water? Yes, I love that water. Oh, no, no, no. Do no. you remember the water? Yes, I remember the water. Yeah, you drank the water and you went absolutely crazy. All right. Is there any more water? <laughs> no. Uh, oh, all right, all right. Um, I, I think I'm all right now. You feel okay. You're starting to feel like this is <laughs> this is odd, but it's okay. You really like to be out of yes, your I, bonds now. Yes, I would. I think I'm all right now. Back to a sound mind. 
and spirit. Okay, so I'm skeptical, but I start undoing the major cocooning. Okay. okay. And then I undo the one arm and the one leg okay. that are tied. Mm -hmm. And I get to his shackles and I undo the leg. Okay. It's okay. But then I br Doesn't know it, but I stole <laughs> uh, bash a thing. No, I'm just kidding. So I bring, but I grab his other hand. Okay. And shackle his arms behind himself. Behind, you know what I mean? Okay. I cuff yeah, him. I got what you're saying. You yeah. got him cuffed shackle now. Him. Yeah. I'm shackling him now. I'm like, this is just a precaution. <laughs> and I'm going to take you up now. And we're going to talk to everybody. All right, Sir Craig. Um, I'm very sorry for anything I might have done when I was under the influence of oh, water. <laughs> the vile water. spirits. Okay, you guys get you get back up to the outside world. Yeah. Uh, Quigley, you have to kind of hold him because without his arm to climb the ladder, you, you have to carry well, yeah, him, basically. Well, yeah, carrying him up, yeah. Uh, but eventually you were all back to where you started. There you are. Quigley seems to be doing much better. He doesn't seem to be screaming wildly. Quigley, uh, Quigley nobody looks like a demon to you. Yeah. Um, Quigley, what are you? A hero. Uh-huh. What am I? Not a demon. Yeah, I mean, that that's, was... Yeah, that's generally that was. accurate. <laughs> yep. Uh, now, Quigley, are you going to want to drink from that fountain again? No. Um... Too damn, am I going to want to drink from the fountain again? I mean, a drink of water sounds really great right now, but you can, there's this like tension as they're watching you and you can tell that they want you to say no, but it does sound good. Josh Schubert wants you to say yes. He thinks you're parched. <laughs> no, I, I say it with a question mark. No? Right, good answer. Do you want Did some you water? Just wink at me? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? The cameras couldn't Create see water it. for him. Do you want some water? Yes, please. Yeah, see water. The, is this a trick? This, this no, is this is Lyra's water. water. This is good water. Lyra water. We love. I mean, her hands are filthy, but well, your hands. No, <laughs> Edith's water is disgusting. That's rude. Where did you put your hands in? Ugh. Well, he was the one that grabbed it for me. He can't. His hands are behind his back. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah, right. You have to hand. give it to him. Well, yeah, your hands are disgusting. I the water so. is disgusting to me, correct? I mean, it's nothing will ever nothing take like quite what as you good. had. Okay, well, but that's you know what, not Quigley? We should continue on boldly forth. Oh yes. man, yes. right? Yes, yes. That's we what must we're here for. this foul evil Thank from you. the land. Thank you. Very good. All right. No more drinking of fountains. Don't be impulsive. I say we keep him shackled. Don't be impulsive, Quigley. Until we get to the fountain room and see what happens. All right. Okay. All right. You go down. Go you go back hallway, through yeah. the room with the basins. You go into the room with the fountain. Quigley, I mean, everybody's like, you can feel they're watching you. It's like when you're giving a presentation in class when you're still really nervous about talking in front of people. You can just feel their eyes on you. And you does look really good, and you remember how good it felt, but but you but there's something that tells you that you shouldn't. Some like this, maybe you should listen to them. Of course, listen to the little voice in my head. I I think I'm all right. I'm I'm not going to drink it. I'm just gonna sit on the edge of the fountain. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine here. I'm not going to drink it. You ready to go forward? Yes. Boldly? I'm ready to stride boldly forth. I will fight all evil, even with my arms behind my back. Well, I you don't have a sword, sword anymore. We got rid of it. No, no I, I have just that. will just, I have that. Uh, just, um, just tie my shield to the front of me, and I will charge into battle. No, we don't want you charging anymore. Right I don't now. think that's necessary. Craig, I think it's fine. You could probably undo his jackals. You can undo his shackles, Craig. Nothing bad will happen. <laughs> I don't like it when That's you say worst. stuff, Jim Jack. Take the shackles safe. off. It seems super safe. Shackles are okay. off. Take the shackles off. Okay, Quigley, you can we... now move. Your eyebrows blood, do too much Blood returns to your, to your extremities. All right, let's move forward. Let's stride boldly forth. Might okay. I have my sword back? Not Wait, until we no, get out we're going to go. Yes, we're going to go first. Down I have your sword. I will give it to you when we get out of this room. Careful of the cow trip down there, Alex. <laughs> That's why I asked Quigley to go first. 
Right, so I... Cast light on his shield. Okay, cast light on his shield. Your I have shield my blows. pickaxe then. I, I mean, I don't know what different... Throwing axe. Throwing axe. Yeah. Well, see, here's the thing. Who has I'm... quickly his sword at this point? I do. You, you do, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I am walking with my throwing okay. axe out. Okay. Shield you ready? in front of me. You head down the hallway. Aye, aye, aye. I'm never going to get out of this dungeon. I'm going to get near him and give him his sword. Okay, perfect. Stow my throwing. Okay. Axe. So you're near him. Well, now I'm back where I was, which was the line that we had going. How quick can you move? Really fast. You really like fast. a lightning. Head through the opening in the wall and soon come to a nearly collapsed chamber. Thin slivers of light from the world above slice, slice through cracks in the rocky ceiling, but they only serve to deepen the shadows rather than to offer any illumination. Twisting vines and roots have broken into this room, and it is terribly humid here. The stench of rotting vegetation is thick in the air. In the center of the room is a slimy mass of moss, leaves, and tangled vines. On the far wall of this room is another door that has survived the erosion of the room. There don't appear to be any other exits from here. Aside from the one, obviously, that you just came through. So a room with a slight opening in the ceiling, lots of vegetation, and then another exit. And then another exit to the far side of the far side. The exit is fighting broccoli again. Uh, closed or open? It's closed. But we don't know any of this except for. Right. Well, you guys are right behind. Like Lyra's right behind. You kind of like, see. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Unless unless you're specifically not Lyra traveling right together. Behind. That's correct. Yeah. Do you like to check for traps? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I was gonna do. Can okay. I check for traps? You're gonna go into the room <clears throat> and check for traps. <laughs> Sorry again. You're going into the room to check for traps. Yes. Okay. Make your perception, perception check. I'm sure this will be fine. 16 plus my seven. Okay. Um, you are moving about the room, uh, scanning the floor and the walls. You can see that every, because this room has, uh, you would guess that at one, it was either unfinished and so part of it is collapsed or something, but so it's mostly much rougher stone than what you've seen up to this point. Um, and you're moving about the room uh, and you notice that as you're doing so, this mass of, mm. of rotting vegetation in the center of the room begins to stir. I knew it. And draw itself up. I cast Mage Armor if I see this. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> it draws itself up until it is a towering, lumbering mass oh of vegetable matter Mage Armor you that turns towards a you broccoli. as two piercing eyes ga gaze down at you and it begins towards you. Um, it's a little bit early, but I feel like this is the greatest point we can ha we have for taking a break, already? and then we'll come back and, and finish yeah. up. And yeah, it's already eight wow. o'clock. Wow. It's already eight o'clock. So let's take a break here, and we come back in. <laughs> Great. We'll so uh, we'll get right into the action. Broccoli's part two. Broccoli's revenge. Yeah, Broccoli's Cody. revenge. Cody yes. Revenge. Um, yeah. Andrew James Smith says, "Give the rotted plants the water from the fountain." Uh, no. <laughs> well, yeah. Obviously, they're going to need it. They need it. What yeah. about the water? They're going to need it. No. They no. need photosynthesis. Oh yeah, to photosynthesize. Uh, Water. Put a bubble in your mouth because I have something important to tell you. We are live at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time every Friday on Facebook.com slash dragons and stuff. And I want you to be able to win prizes and possibly interact with me and the other people in this group of, you know, people. So anyways, give us a shout out. Come join us on Fridays and it'd be awesome. Hope to see you there.